Anyways. Listen, this video is going to put you in a worse mood. I want you to know. Why? That. Why are you running that today? Why? Are we you need running? one more Thursday. Yeah, I don't. And here we you are. You need a happy one, though. You need like, to... hey, we're going to sit down and drink BTAC. This isn't BTAC. I'd like to explain to you a new game that we're about to play. Can't wait, Daniel. I went to the liquor store and spent $100 on only bottom shelf whiskey. We're going to see what the best one is. You spent $100 and got nine bottles? Eight. We had one here. One moment before we get back to the list, we got breaking news. Pours in the Park 2023 tickets on the website right now. Bourbonjunk.com slash shop. For real, though, the tickets are actually up. And dates are August 4th, August 5th. It's going to be freaking awesome. The VIP event is going to be great. The Saturday, we got a way cooler spot than we had last year. It'll be a great time. If you think you can bottle flip like a damn champion. See you there. Oh, Everything a fifth, then. Mm -hmm, that that tracks. You'll find out. But I put them all on the counter, and the guy goes ninety seven dollars. I go sounds good. He goes sounds expensive. And I went oh wow oh I'm that's the type of store I'm at right now. Needless to say, what how we're gonna run this is Sean and I are each gonna drink one. We're each gonna give a score out of hundred. We're gonna add those scores together. That's gonna be the total for that whiskey. The highest points wins. This is as simple as it gets. Cheers, everybody! It's out of 100. I bet you the highest score is about 48. There's a good control in here. That actually doesn't smell that bad. I don't know that they're all actually... I believe they're all whiskey. Little pinky racer in there. I think that smells awful. You know, like when you shoot... Oh. Um, oh. oh, oh medicine oh, oh, in your dog's oh, mouth and they just, like, drool it out? My, my body just did that. You know, they do the... They do this. <laughs> that tastes raw. I gotta, I gotta cut that. There's no better word than raw. That's raw, dude. Ah, uh, whoo! I'm gonna have to set okay. my expectations low. Well, you should set them as low as the bottom shelf of a liquor store. So. You'd be surprised how much you can buy for a hundred bucks. Do you think, about eight bottles. Do you think we should just take our scores and double them for kindness? <laughs> mm -mm. It's just almost... Nothing. I don't know how to. I don't know how to rank this out of a hundred, buddy. Twenty-one. How about one to ten? We want to do ten. <laughs> I'm gonna give that a twenty-one. There might be some on here that are like a fifty, maybe. I'm gonna give that an eighteen. Okay, twenty-one plus eighteen. I have to check your practical math. Listen, if this were an equation, I wouldn't even check it. I trust you, <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> Sample two. Sometimes when things are too easy, you're worse. Oh, if that's Tub? not Beam Jim Beam product. Yeah, that's Jim Beam. Jim Beam White Label? How free is that? Tastes like whiskey, though. I'm going to... That's way higher than the first one, if I'm being completely honest. I'm not saying it's great whiskey. I just It's whiskey, though. The first what? one, I don't know if it's whiskey or not. 63. Some of these might be like a neutral rain thing. I don't I know. I gave that a 63. A 63? Coming off of what I Keep just had. Keep it in perspective. You guys take this for with the pound of salt. Because... Coming off what I just had, that is damn near BTAC, Daniel. Yeah, I'll go 48. 63 and 48? Yeah. 111. For Third that sample. One. I don't want to drink that. That smells really bad. I don't. That like smells that. like the worst one so far. Three. That <laughs> smells. I don't want to drink that. Um, that smells underage. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> it it, it, it this, smells like this smells like a high school party. I, it's just not appropriate. You ever smelled a, a Roundup? <laughs> oh yeah, weed weed killer. Ah, that's about what she smells like. It does like. smell like chemicals. Dude, that... You know how they say alcohol is poison? This smells like poison. Yeah. 100%. If I stumbled upon a vat of this, I'd been like, nah, that's poison. If you imagine... You have to take yourself back to it when humans... Like carpet cleaner. ...didn't know things. And then they just traveled and found things. They tried those things. Some people died because of it. When somebody... <laughs> oh, my God. It's that bad. I'm excited to figure out what the worst is, because I actually don't know at all. I feel like my body would want to throw up if it's, I swallow that. It smells like moldy chlorine. Huh. <laughs> that has to be neutral grain, right? One. I give that a one. I'll give that a ten. Composite score eleven. I'll give that a ten. Oh Ugh. my god. Fourth bottle. Shout out to whoever made that one. You know what I think we should do? That smells like heaven. That actually smells like whiskey oh, after what we just had. And it's the right color. Yeah. Hold on. 
let's just compare the last glass. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. While we're comparing <laughs> featuring Sean's burps. My tummy is ex just upset with what's happening. Should right have now. swallowed the last one. No. Okay. That's water. That's actual water. That's brown water. <laughs> that is caramel Dalmore made water and put it in a glass bottle or oh, plastic. Fruity. fruity? Yeah. Do what? You didn't get a little juice. I didn't get a flavor, buddy. <laughs> Not lying. one. That's because you're still Got that in there. I did swallow mine like a champion. Yeah, I don't know why you would do that. That was actually terrible. Does it, you get a, did you got a flavor? All right, let me try. Not much, but I mean, I could crush at least a half a bottle of that and think, was that whiskey? Dude, that's like a solid 70 for me. That is straight water. I don't 70. get any flavor. This feels like COVID. I'm not even joking. This is like COVID all over again. All right, fine. 50. Where are you at with this? It's this is so non-offensive. Yeah. I almost want to give it points for being non-offensive. Coming off of what I just had before that, yeah. I think it's really jumping it for us. I, I I might want to dial back my score. I think if 50 is the right I'll score. I'll give that a 32. I'm going to give it a 50. We're up to 82. Oh, that one's high. Today's video is dedicated to Michael Friggin Klein, a.k.a. KBZ now on YouTube. Michael Klein. Oh. Don't drink that. My. You can't. You can't drink that. Just smell it. That did that change what that is. Whole... That actually smells like whiskey and tastes like whiskey. And it's whiskey. Thank you, Michael Klein. He's got a shelf right here. This is a Mayor Pingree seven-year single barrel from a group. It looks like it says Barrel Thieves on it. So I'm going to drink this. Wait. Five. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It smells like moldy bread. That's heinous. That smells like moldy bread. It is not worse than whatever number three was. You don't think that's worse than number three? No. Number three literally smells like chemicals, like raw chemicals. I shouldn't be Buddy, drinking. that this smells like the purest form of corn ethanol. That's neutral green spirits. Oh, that's corn whiskey, I bet. Really? Yeah. Drink it. That's actually it not that It only smells like corn dust. Uh, 35 for me. That high? Yeah. Drink it. It's not that bad. I'd love to do this scoring system with the whole distillery lineup. 35. It's sweet. It's like sweet corn. You don't like that? It tastes like vomit. That what, tastes like what do vomit. You vomit. Whiskey. That tastes like vomit. Okay. That tastes like vomit after you drank too much. Okay. Well, seven. That's one of my least favorite ones. I thought it was going to be lower. I started with a three, and I was giving it a I give Bob it a seven, if you think Okay, about we're it. up to 42. What? It, oh, that got 11? 11 I don't points. think anything's beaten 11 for the lowest. Well, the problem is they made something that is... <laughs> what a, is this? I think you're supposed to clean your floors with it, and but, but they dyed it brown and put it in a whiskey bottle. And this smells it like a flaw. This smells like something went sideways. I did think through this a little, and I didn't think it'd be as bad as it's feeling. Making my teeth sweat. What glass are we on? Uh, this one. Six. <laughs> six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six. This one. Super helpful. <laughs> you know what? These all were in the dishwasher with almost no soap in a super hot rinse. No weird smells. How about that? Rinse your dishes. This is how I'm going to wash glasses from now on. Nondescript. This smells fine, though. Not that expensive. At that all. smells like and tastes like what, like really shitty Heaven Hill or being um, cook maybe Knob Creek. Oh, that that's one of the best ones we've had in the worst way. It's not good. It's just better than the rest. It's waxy. Yeah, like I could see that being a super low end Knob Creek. That other one that we agreed was beam like two or three was it two? Yeah, that one's beam something. I don't know what it is. It's a beam. That scored one hundred and eleven. That's a beam product. This is probably better than that. So here's what we'll do. Once we get like a top three, yeah. we'll do those three okay. before we unveil it. Um, that actually tastes like whiskey, though. It does, which is refreshing. 75. Change your whole life just taste that pinger right now. 75. I honestly don't... Holy shit. Yeah. I don't think that's that bad. Like, I could honestly drink that and not be super upset. I've got... Out of everything that I've had so far, that's the most whiskey whiskey we've had. That's the best whiskey we've had. You're right. I'll go, I'll go 80. There you go. That's my highest score. 155. Sure. Yeah. That is whiskey, though. 
Yeah. It's nice to have a whiskey. I could probably make a cocktail with yeah. that too. Like there's a lot I could mm. still do with that. Yeah, I mean it's still Hundish. 40 proof. Um Hundish? I don't know. I got so much so much heartburn right now. Really? Yeah. You think that's a hundred proof? Um I don't know, maybe. maybe. Nope. 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 One. This is glass eight. I'm, this is exhaust seven. This is glass seven. One. I'm not fucking drinking that. I'm so sorry. This is my fault. I, Have you it smelled it yet? Idea, and it was my fault. Hey Dan, you smell that yet? Credit. Oh, that's like if you mix Dickel with the swamp pond water note that you hate it's that you not, get and it's stuff. It's not that. No, no, no. Do you have? I haven't finished my fucking story. Yet. <laughs> okay. And then an elephant in the Sahara came up with a big trunk and went, <laughs> slurped it right, shit it out his ass. <laughs> That's what this smells like, dude. I'm not even joking. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't think that. Can I just though. give it a negative and not? We have to try. It. <laughs> uh, we have to try it. That's the rule. It's going back in that glass. <laughs> <laughs> Easily the worst nose. It's sour. It's very sour. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's worse than you think. Whatever this is. <laughs> what? <laughs> worse than I think. That's oh. Claren Rum level of bad. Oh no! Well, we own whatever oh this my. is now because I bought it. We're not quitters here. I am, and I don't care. Oh, it tastes like penicillin. Before they made it. <laughs> mold. Yeah. It tastes like mold. Yeah, it's like it before it was Oh my god, pill. that might literally be one of the worst things I've drank in a very long Imagine time. Imagine if that stuck around longer. That's worse than Malort, if it hung around. You've I, eaten a mold. <laughs> I want to just scratch all my fingernails I, listen, off through I'm, this table to make my body not concentrate on that flavor. I'm going to be honest, I do refuse to drink that a second time, so I'm going to give that a negative four. You know what? I'm going to give that negative 400, okay. and we're at negative 404. So that's the worst one, no matter what. Oh. There can't be a worse one. Glass eight. You feeling worn down yet? There's only two left. It smells like fucking heaven. <laughs> this is this is such a cool journey. It's a roller coaster of emotions. That smells like cheap ass Barton. Oh, this is whiskey. Oh, this is sweet and fruity. That though. literally smells Whoa. like cheap Barton. I don't have any clue what bottle this could even 100. be. 100. Okay, that seems unfair. <laughs> I didn't drink it. 90. What? Yeah, I go 80 again. This time, 170. This is 80 for me. I'm not going above an 80. That's in the first. That's in first. None of these even buddy. get an 80 in real life, but right now. Yeah. That's actually. I don't want to say great. I'm getting way too excited. That's not terrible. I hope that's 90 Boop Garden. I don't think you can buy 90 proof Barton for under $20. Glass nine. Oh, okay. shit. Two oh. in a row that smell like whiskey? Okay, this is a citrusy. Oh, I was going to go green. Okay. Definitely youthy. Well, that makes mm. sense. That tracks. It was $12. <laughs> Came in plastic. Most of these were in plastic, by the way. Almost all of them. That's got, that's got to have the most color, right? Some of these might be. Colored. Yeah. This is, this might be my favorite nose of the bunch. That's nice. I'm going to go 78. Just 70. under an 80. 80 has been my highest so far. I'm going to give it 67. Really? Actually, you know what? 69. Would you give it? I see what you did there. Would 78. Well, so I'm 47. Almost has a major in math. Minor. Minor in math. Are you a class off a of minor? <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> Diffy Q and something else. Glass seven is what I imagine being murdered is like. <laughs> like, dude, I, I, dude I, I swear to God, glass seven is so absolutely incorrect. Dude. I would go nine, six, eight. That'd be my order. Eight's for sure last yeah. of these three. Nine feels good. I don't know if it's just like a compilation of bullshit in front of it that made it feel great. That's This tastes like whiskey. It has a hint of complexity to it. <sighs> hint. 
Nine's the best one easily out of these three. But I will say that this is e uh, six is easily second. We have the same order, which is great news. My teeth don't like anything that just happened. Well, okay. Ready? Last place. I need. What num number? Just give me a number. Number seven. Hit me with that. Number seven. Canadian Mist. Blended Canadian whiskey, a blend known for its mellow character and smooth taste. It's 40% ABV, and it's just Canadian whiskey. This That's is actual whiskey. That's one of the worst whiskey. things I've ever tasted in my life. You know who owns this? Is that Seagram's? Saz. Oh, yeah. Sazerac owns the worst thing I've ever had whiskey-wise. Yeah. My God. Uh, the next list, we have number three. Yeah, you can just burn that. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We don't need it where we're going. That. Number three was... Canada House. Is that like the peak of perfection, Sean? <laughs> I didn't swallow that one says. either. Imported Canada House Canadian whiskey, distilled, blended, and aged under supervision of the Canadian government. It's three years old, eighty proof. Hey man, I've this is one of the worst three year old whiskeys I've ever had. And I, that's saying something. Buddy, I would there's moonshine I'd rather drink Cleveland than that. Who um I think then we have number one. This one, this makes sense to me. I really thought this would place lower. Black Velvet, uh, three years old again. Man, Canadian. That was like the one three. that I think had like caramel on it. It oh, felt flavored. You thought this one was flavored. Yeah. And this is, I intentionally bought the non-flavored one. Mm. Product of Canada, Black Velvet, blended mm. Canadian whiskey. Just says three years old, 80 proof. Well, it's Canadian whiskey. They can do whatever they want. They can call that bourbon, probably. Um, no, bourbon has to be made in America. Hey, buddy, they don't follow any rules. They do follow that rule. Eh. Uh, next up, we have number five at 42 points. I'm actually, I thought this one would almost win. 10 high. This is bourbon. Actual bourbon. It's not actual bourbon, sorry, because it says, with natural flavors. Wait, what that is That makes sense. It doesn't say what the natural flavors are Carmel. anywhere. Sazerac owns this, too. Uh, I think then we're up to number four. Number four. 82 points. Seagram seven. I didn't hate it. Honestly, dude. I literally didn't hate way it. Way better. American blended whiskey. A whiskey of distinctive character, smooth, rich, full flavored. Let's go easy on that words. Without a trace <laughs> of heaviness. It's not heavy. That's fair. Proudly blended and bottled in America. America. All right. Next one. Number two. It is a beam product. Old oh, pro. we're right. Okay. That was the one that I literally smelled and went, that's beam. The first actual bourbon on the list since 10 High had natural flavors in it. Old Crow, the original sour, the original sour mash, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, forty percent. All right, and then we have uh, first podium was glass. Would we say eight? Jim Beam White Label came in third. Makes sense. What the hell is left? Oh, that actually we have two left. Makes sense. Jim Beam Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Um, we that, like Jack way more than Jim Beam. Yeah, but Jack's twenty five here. Yeah, and this was eighteen. That's why I thought you bought pints. So. No, I think all of these were actually 750s. Let me see it. <laughs> we don't need that where we're Classic. going. All right, and then we have glass six. 155 points. Evan Williams Black. I don't hate it, honestly. It's crazy when you put stuff in plastic how much cheaper it is. Uh, Evan Williams Black Label, this is actually bourbon again. This is just normal Evan Williams. There's nothing special about it. So we it. had bourbon bourbon? Actually, yeah. So... You know, third place if we had a podium, that'd be third. That'd be second. Actual bourbon. Then obviously the last one. This would be first. Everyone's no, bottled and bond. Kidding. And so. that was the one that we were like, it's not even close. Yeah. This is fifteen dollars. But this is a hundred proof. We did put three bourbons. Actually four. Top four were bourbons. The rest Make, of them were not. Makes sense. Buddy, fifth was a seventy five percent neutral grain spirit product. Man, my man. man. Seagram's beat the shit out of a lot of people here today. <sighs> a lot of Canadian whiskeys. And the 10 high, whatever that thing is. So that's sour mash with natural so flavors. Dude, look at that. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Now, I will say this compared to most shit that I actually like is awful for me. But Evan Williams coming away with a big, big win today. First and second place on the podium. I just want to go lay down. Who I'm owns Evan Williams? With this. Heaven Hill? I think so. Damn, good for you guys. Yeah. You I, guys are actually making decent cheap whiskey. My mind was like, is it Beam or Hill? One of the two. I think it's Heaven Hill, though. Yep, that's still my Heaven Hill distilleries. Yeah. DSP KY1. Yep. 
Definitely have a hill That makes sense. Good job, guys. If you want whiskey for less than $20, just probably stick with Evan Williams. That's what we learned today. Because of the rest of it's not... I didn't like this video. It's not it, but we love you guys. So. Why did you do this to me? I'm going to be honest. So this is the one I knew we owned. And then I saw this one there. I'm like, I got to buy the black label. Let's see if they're like far apart. All plastic except that 10 high, dude. I have to go to a whiskey dinner tonight. <laughs> At least there won't be this shit. It's good third win. Oh, third win's good. You have any idea what Connor looks like? No, never met him. Yeah, hopefully I get to meet him tonight. Never seen Apparently him. there's a representative from third win tonight there. Like, a couple of those are not, dr like the Canadian These mist. two. These two are not drinkables. These were the two non-drinkables. Dude, those literally taste like chemicals. This is why people don't like Canadian whiskey, by the way, in America. Because everything that says this bullshit on it is awful.